Welcome to Wildflower. My name is Romina Rasmussen and I'm the pastry chef at Les Madeleines in Salt Lake City. And today we're going to make a lemon pound cake with Supremes in it, and uh, which are little segments of lemon. Um, and this isn't quite a traditional pound cake, but it does have a pound cake texture. So that would normally be a pound, a pound, a pound of all the ingredients. So I have four eggs in my mixer right now. And I'm going to add about a half a cup of sugar to that. And my goal here is just to incorporate. It's not to make it to get a whole lot of air in there. So once I've got that added in, I'm going to add the cream. I'm going to add my cream. And I'll get that worked in. And then I'm going to add my dry ingredients. My baking powder and my flour. And just before that's completely incorporated, I'm going to add in some melted butter as well as um, my lemon supremes and some lemon zest. And I don't want to wait till everything's completely incorporated before adding the next ingredient, otherwise I risk over mixing my batter and ending up with kind of a tough and chewy cake. So I'm gonna add that in there. And I'm going to finish it off by hand, just to make sure that I don't over mix it. And so a lot of times when you're making cake, I know a lot of folks like to make their batter creamy and smooth. Well, by the time you've done that, you've over mixed your cake and you've made a very gluteny kind of mixture. So it's okay if it's a little bit lumpy looking. It's more important that it um, just be mixed all the way, but then that's all. So it's, it doesn't look creamy and smooth, but it is completely incorporated. So then I'm gonna put it in a flour, buttered and floured pan and I'm gonna bake it at 325 for about an uh, anywhere from 50 minutes to 60 minutes, depending on your oven. So we'll push that in there. And when this comes out, you actually brush it with a glaze that's made from powdered sugar and lemon juice. You brush it with a glaze until it's completely incorporated and then you actually put it back in the oven for about 10 minutes so that that glaze gets nice and shiny and set up. But the other thing I wanted to show you is actually how to supreme a lemon. So I've cut both ends off and then with my serrated knife, I'm just cutting around and taking all of the pith off. And if I miss a spot, I can go back and take that off. And then I'm gonna cut as close to the membrane as I can to remove just the segments. I don't want the membrane in there, I just want the segments. And if you get any seeds, that's okay, just pick them out afterwards. So that's how you would supreme any kind of citrus that you can use in a fruit salad, or in this case, this lovely, delicious, um, Pound cake, and that's how you make a pound cake with lemon supremes.